Hello dear subscribers and watchers, what's up? I am Waves from Slidenerd here. In this video, I am going to talk about inheritance hierarchies in a little more detail. In my previous video, I was talking about why we need inheritance, what happens without it, and what happens with it. In this video, let's dig a little more deeper, try to see what is going on. So first, let's talk about something, is a versus has a relationship. Now this is very simple. In English, you will probably say, this person has a name, address, age. Now if someone said, hey, can you convert this to a Java program or you can say a Java code to show this sentence, actually you can. What you can do is you can say there's a person as a class over here, class person, as you said, has a name, address, age. What you're going to do is create properties, string name, string address, int age inside that class person. Now if someone said this person has a car, then you would also have a car class over here and an object created for that over here inside your class person. Now this is what has a means. Now when now this type of relationship is probably called a composition or has a relationship. Now on the other hand in English when you say this person is a businessman. Now this is what inheritance means. In other words in programming this converts like this. There is a class person, there is a class businessman which inherits name address age from person and adds its own attribute type of business inside the class businessman. In other words businessman is a specific type of person that you have and that's what this means in terms of programming when you have is a. In other words has a means composition, is a means inheritance and why would I talk about this? Because when you read a problem statement in the inheritance programs that beginners usually deal with, if you see is a that means that class is going to inherit from each other and you have to determine what is more specific what is more general in our case here as you notice person is very general businessman is specific specific goes down general goes at the top and that's why you see the diagram like this so now let's talk about inheritance hierarchy you have a class shape there is two types of shapes you can say 2d shape 3d shape now 2D shape further is divided into circle, square, triangle, 3D shape is further divided into sphere, cube, cylinder. Now these are what are called hierarchical relationships. In other words there is a class called shape which is the super class of everything. Your 2D shape extends from this shape, adds some own properties, 3D shape does the same thing. Circle extends from 2D shape and adds a property probably like radius. Square extends from 2D shape, says adds a property probably like side and triangle probably has half into base into height as the area for whatever you do and that's the basic stuff about inheritance over here so let's take a look now here is one thing which people find very hard to digest but think about this an object of a subclass can also be treated as an object of its superclass in other words when you create an object of circle that circle object indirectly can also be considered to be an object of shape because think about this let's say there is a businessman over here let's say there is a person over here a businessman is also a person in English right and that is why an object in Java of businessman should also be an object of your person over here and that's how you have to think about this in terms of English now remember since a subclass is an object of the superclass and one superclass can have many subclasses like you notice there's 2d shape which has three subclasses over here. The set of objects represented by a superclass is larger than the set of objects represented by any of its subclasses. In other words, all the objects of circle, all the objects of square, plus all the objects of triangle is considered to be all the objects of 2D shape in addition to its own objects. And that is why the set of all the objects that 2D shape will have will be greater than what circle, square and triangle are gonna have. Now remember, place common properties and behavior inside the superclass and just add the specific ones here inside the subclasses that you create. We discussed about this in the previous video. If you guys haven't seen it, please go back, check it out. Now let's talk a little more stuff about superclasses and subclasses. Now variables that are new are defined inside your subclass and they are accessible only inside that class and its subclasses that you can have. For example, let's talk about this with the help of an example in the upcoming 
slides or in the upcoming sections just hold on for a second now remember each subclass can also become a super class for other subclasses that you make it's a multi-level like there is grandfather then there is father then there is child and that's the kind of way inheritance works in java now let's talk about the direct super class now there is class b and there is class a let's say b extends a in other words a is the super class and b is the subclass now since b directly extends from a it is the direct super class but there is also something called an indirect super class now there is a b and c and you can say in this case c has a parent which is b b has a parent which is a but c also has an indirect parent which is a right and that's why it's called an indirect super class now remember whatever variables or methods that you're going to put inside c are going to be seen only inside that class they won't be seen here inside b or a but if you put something inside b that will be visible to b and to c and if you have stuff inside a that's going to be visible to everyone in other words if you have a variable like int high string high over here that's going to be seen by class b inherited by class c and so on and that's what the first point was talking about now you can inherit only one class at a time because java only has single inheritance you cannot have a and you can have b and c both extending b extending from both a and b at the same time in other words you cannot have two parents that's the basic idea let's further dig into the super class subclass stuff now let's take a look at this weird diagram over here try to understand something it's very similar to what we already saw every class in java directly or indirectly extends from object for example what this means if, if class c over here has a different class b let's say class c extends b and this b over here extends from a right but a we have not specified anything we simply say class a but even though we have not written anything over here for a it indirectly extends object therefore b also extends it and c also indirectly extends object now why would this happen because object class over here has several important methods and properties that define how objects are treated in java and since java is completely an object oriented language every class that you make you're gonna have to create objects of that and that is why the common behavior is needed everywhere inside every class that you create and that's why everything by default extends your object now remember object is the topmost class in hierarchy of java that means object has no super class whatsoever but every class no matter how it has been created directly or indirectly extends object object is like a god you can say now if your class has no super class object is indirectly super class now for example if you wrote class a over here extends object then object would be directly the super class of a but if you said nothing over here and you simply wrote class a inside your java program object is going to be indirectly the super class of a so hopefully that's clear now let's talk about something called instance variable shadowing so i see there's a class cycle and it has some property let's say int weight now notice that i have made it private over here so when i make a subclass like class by cycle extend cycle what happens is that this property weight is also copied inside by cycle but you cannot access it because it's private it's accessible only inside the same class no matter what happens so in other words if you make string name and then string brand and then if you say int weight over here by mistake you end up doing a blunder in other words what happens now is there is your class by cycle it has its own properties name and brand over here it has the private int weight which is inherited over here but not accessible in addition to that it also has this int weight over here which is the accessible version of weight so when you try to update or modify stuff that is your weight you're going to end up modifying this variable and not this variable over here and that is going to cause something called instance variable shadowing in other words you're creating this int int weight over here that is your subclass variable to actually hide your super class variable over there so remember no matter what happens a subclass cannot access private instance variables of the super class you will end up updating the wrong variable 
So hopefully you guys have understood something about inheritance so far in our detailed discussions. In the next video, we are going to work this out with the help of an example. In the meantime, if you guys do like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to our channel and support our efforts in any way you can. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.